Hey everyone, Shaber 1000 here. Today we've got this Edger Trimmer Extended Life Engine and it's the Eager One 3.8 horsepower. So, uh, rapid start. A little over a year ago, about 14 months ago, I uh, made a video when I got this, getting it running. If I remember right, it ran okay. It just needed a little bit of straightening out on the carburetor, but I haven't had it running since, and it's been sitting around back. Um, let's see. Okay, that's a good sign. There is no fuel in there. That's good. So I'm going to put some fuel in it. And this spark plug, I'll have to check it, but I I took this out of my John Deere because it didn't have spark in the John Deere. And I put the one out of here in the John Deere, and my John Deere ran. So I'm going to clean this up, and we'll check it for spark. We're just going to get this running. If I can get it running pretty good, maybe I'll sell it. Uh, we'll check the oil and it is right on the full mark and it looks pretty good so let me get you set up and stand I'm not gonna bore you with cleaning this plug I'm just gonna clean it off with a wire wheel in there I know you're not supposed to do that but I've done it for years never had an issue I can understand the sandpaper not wanting to use sandpaper on here because if one little tiny grit of that sand gets stuck in here when you put it in here and it gets down in that cylinder before it blows out the exhaust you can screw your cylinder up in about 3.4 seconds or 3.8 seconds okay so let's get that and I'll get you on stand I had to bring this over in the shade and uh, we'll see what we can what we can do with it Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to check it for spark. Uh, I think this has got electronic ignition, so that shouldn't be an issue. I do know this thing is not very tight. I did clean the plug up. Made sure the gap was correct. There we go. Now we're going to be, if we can... Trying to get it where it can touch metal. Um, okay, I'll just hold it. Hopefully I don't get shocked too bad. Now, what we're gonna be looking at is get you whoops, more centered here. We're gonna be looking right there, okay? Uh, I got the switch on. Let's see if it's got spark. Okay, it does. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll zoom in a little bit more here. Oops. It's not the greatest, but it should run it. to lube that up. Okay, so we got spark. Now, let's get some gas. I got a bottle here that I use to mix my, whoops, gas and oil in the boat with. There's a little bit of oil down the bottom, but that's okay. It won't hurt anything. If anything, it'll help it for as long as this has been sitting. So, let me get some gas. Let me put this plug in here first. I do remember this thing does not have a uh, air cleaner on it. 
I do remember that. Well, I see it's gone. And the reason why I remember that is because I looked back in the old video. <laughs> so, um, it says it's a uh, rapid start. We're going to find out. All right, let me get some gas in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some gas out of the generator because after it sets so long, you know, I start using it in other things like lawnmowers and stuff. And then when it comes around to, I always have enough in there though in case we need it, but then when it comes around to uh, hurricane season, I'll fill her back up with fresh gas. I don't like to leave anything set too long like that. I always run it out of gas um, when I start it and check it. I will shut the gas off and run it out. So uh, let's get some fuel. Okay, I don't have a funnel. Well, I do. It's in, it's in my mess in there somewhere. It might be over in the boat. Um, just going to dump it into this measuring cup and then I'll pour it in here. Well, that didn't help much either, did it? Alright. Now let me find my rag. I'll get that wiped off and we'll see if she'll start. Okay, his leaky carburetor. But let's see if it'll start anyway. Maybe it'll come out of it. What I like about that carburetor is it's got adjustments on it. Alright, let's hurry up before it fills up with fuel. All right, let's see if it's a rapid start. Choke on, gave it about half throttle. I'm, go I'm gonna say that started first crank. All right, let's open the choke up halfway. Well, we'll choke it again. <laughs> Might be flooded. Let's give it full throttle, wide open choke. Okay, let me see if it's flooded and check that plug again. <clears throat> Bring in a little bit. I'm gonna say I started first crank. It says a Tecumseh. Okay, no. There's no fuel. It's dry as a bone. So it did suck enough to fire and then that was it. If it runs good, we'll tighten that up and we'll try it out. Uh, it's still leaking fuel down here. You know what? Let's give it a little bit of help. There should be a little bit of fuel left in this fuel line. We'll dribble some down in there. All right. So I think maybe tomorrow we'll get out the old 72, 74, 76, whatever it is. I'd have to go back and look in my archive or in my old videos and see what year that old Briggs and Stratton is. All right, let me move you back. All right, let's try this again. Let's do what we did the first time. We'll choke it by half throttle. Let me, let me yank 
the bowl off that carburetor, yeah, it's dry again. It's not sucking enough gas up in there. Let me yank the bowl off that carburetor and uh, it's still leaking. We'll see if that's not an issue. Okay, I must not have ran it clear out of gas. There's some gunk down in there. May have been from before. There's a lot of gunk in there that's not in the tank. The tank's clean, so let me get this cleaned out. I'll take these jets out and clean. I'm not going to bore you with that. You guys seen me do that a hundred times. Just a standard carburetor. Let me get this cleaned up. We'll put it together and try it again. Okay, guys. So, um, I took the bowl off. I drained the gas out. Checked that. It was fine. Tank's fine. Uh, I showed you the bowl. Well, I took the main jet out. And where the jet goes in, there's a tube it screws into. And uh, there's a little pinhole in it. It was clogged. Now, I showed you guys that. But either I forgot to hit record or you weren't paying attention. Okay? Uh, I'm betting I didn't hit record. And I know this because when I went to shut off record, uh, it started recording. So, I wasn't recording. All right. So, now it's back together. I just unscrewed each I, the 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 main jet and the low speed jet. I just unscrewed a uh, one and a half turns on each. And if it starts, we're gonna let it warm up a minute, and then we'll uh, we'll adjust the carburetor. So let's see if it'll run. Make sure that's tight. All right. I'm gonna adjust it to where it'll run good enough until it gets warmed up. Take it, I went too far. <laughs> it is a rapid start. quite warmed up yet all right I'm gonna let this warm up and I'm gonna fiddle with it and we'll see how well we can get it running okay it's warmed up now it's still hunting at an idle surgeon so I think there's still some dirt in that carburetor it needs taking off a good cleaning and uh, I think a new plug would help but I wanted to show you this for those of you that haven't seen this machine before Right now it's an edger, but if you, you flip this and you can turn that down to there, now it cuts weeds. Looks like the blade's not that great. Um, so, and anywhere in between. And you even got 15 degrees that way. So, let's try the edger out first, and then we'll go over here Let's see if I cut some wheat. Is that is that blade on right? Yeah. It could probably use a blade because it's pretty worn. But let me get you set up over here. We'll start this thing up and I'll show you how it edges and then I'll show you. We'll see how it cuts weeds.
can also set the depth by raising this up and down and it'll only let it go so far uh, and this this also gives you different heights so let's go ahead and fire this up Seems like it's running better already. I'm gonna move you over here and we're gonna try to cut some weeds. Let me get that dug out of there. This is gonna be what we're gonna try to cut down. These things grow around here like wildfire. Uh, I did cut the rest of that over there where we were at. And again, you weren't recording, so. Let's see. Let's see how well it cuts that down. Right, guys so I think with a little bit of tweaking and a uh, air filter I think that thing be all right sharpen that blade up it might not need one I'll have to see what size they are and then measure that one because you know concrete really eats metal up so there you guys go it's another well it's still run I guess <laughs> after over a year sitting out back uncovered all right guys Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And uh, Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend, I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care, everyone.